Well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown with your weather for the next seven days. Here we are heading in towards the first week of November. I know it's hard to believe that we're that far into the fall now. Been feeling definitely fall-like in the Burlington area over the past few days after we had that incredible warm spell last weekend where we saw temperatures on Saturday in the 80s and then crashing down into the 40s on Sunday. And fortunately, we're not going to really be getting too, too warm this period coming up. It's going to be fairly average to below average. And starting at our period on Friday, we should be seeing temperatures at this time of the year in the upper 50s. That's about where we should be for this time of the year. Again, that's where we're going to be. Then as we get towards the end of our period next week, we're going to be seeing temperatures that should only be in the mid 50s as we head in towards the second week of November. But it's going to be pretty chilly by the time we get to the end of next week. We have to take a look and see if we might have some mixed snow showers in with rain showers next Thursday as temperatures are going to be struggling to get out of the mid 40s. Now, very important to note, everyone, before you go to sleep on Saturday night, remember to turn your clocks back one hour as daylight savings time is officially coming to an end. So that means, yes, on Sunday afternoon, the sun is going to be setting just after 430 in the afternoon. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us in terms of temperatures and precipitation for the next 7 to 10 days. And looking at our temperature map, expecting us to have a good chance of below average temperatures. Might be a little bit warmer than average this weekend. Looks like we're going to have a pretty nice weekend coming up. But thereafter, we're going to see a couple of small storms go by, and that's going to drop our temperatures way back down below normal. And looking at our precipitation chances, they're calling for us to have Chance of above average precipitation, I'm not really seeing that right now. doesn't look like we're going to have really any organized areas of rain coming in to the Burlington area, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that. So that's some very typical, cool, damp November conditions. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at those seven days of weather coming up. And again, starting out our weekend, it's going to be fairly pleasant. Pretty nice for the first weekend of November. Temperatures on Saturday and Sunday in the low 60s are going to feel pretty nice out there. Then as you go back to work on Monday, sunny skies are going to continue with temperatures Again, around 60. Thereafter, though, we're going to see some showers and maybe light rain on Tuesday morning. And we're going to probably see a morning high in the mid to upper 50s with the temperatures cooling way down throughout the day. And as we get in towards Wednesday, we're going to see, again, the sun come out. But those temperatures pretty chilly in the upper 40s. And then again, Thursday, you have to watch for maybe some sneaky mixed rain and snow showers on Thursday out there. doesn't look like it's going to be a complete washout. Just something to bear in mind, but pretty chilly out there with temperatures only in the mid 40s and those morning lows starting out in the mid 20s. So again, everyone get out there, enjoy the weather, have a great week. And once again, just remember before you go to sleep on Saturday, remember to turn those clocks back one hour as daylight savings kind comes to an end. Have a great week, everyone.